Eric Escamilla is using every trick in the book to do some good for his community. Like any project that I get involved in, I just want to get the people to move forward. And it just seemed like a real cool idea to get people to start reading again. Using an old phone booth, he upcycled it to create this phone booth library, which sits right next to his blessing box. It's the blessing boxes to feed your, your body. The books are to feed your mind. But inside are books for everyone. Visitors can simply borrow a book or leave a book. But it's a feeling of hope that Eric is leaving for others. And I brought, oh good, you got some little kid books too. Uh -huh. We'll put those at the bottom. In this world of information, most people are, are running too fast to take a moment and actually read something that will change their life. For him, reading was his escape out of the dark. The place that I come from, there was no hope and, and, and no way out. But I knew that I could get out if I just knew how and books were the way out for me. You can get out of anything you're going through life as long as you have the knowledge to do so. But you cannot get knowledge if you don't know and you can't know if you don't read. A message to show the door to knowledge, enjoyment and imagination comes with just the turn of a page. There is a place that you can go where the wildest things in your imagination can come true and that's inside of your mind. Those things can actually be lined up by what you read or what somebody else has written. That's what I want kids to do is for them to explore a place that's beyond imagination. It has no limits and that's the mind of the individual. In Big Spring, Jolena Okazaki, News West 9.